Greetings and welcome back to Spellbook Demon Slayers. I'm Catherine of Sky. Really excited to play this game again. I really like it a lot. I'm gonna go back to here. I don't want to play as a spellbook. I found a really, I found it really hard to see where her feet were. Um, well, because you're a floating spellbook, <laughs> so it's like, eh, no thanks. So we're gonna go ahead and choose a different one that I've already then I have already played. I've never played Barry. So we have gluttony, 5% chance to remain at the same level after claim. Whoa. No. Do I want to have that? Is that good? Anyway, we have the do sigil as a starting skill. I don't think I've seen this one yet. Summons a sigil that can attach to nearby demons damaging them. The sigil fires shards of ice at nearby demons that have a 40% chance to freeze. Ick. Ick. I'm not liking that already. Projectile chain amount plus one, max HP plus five. Okay, we'll take it. Um, hmm. We have one flower, as I recall. Yes, we do, actually. So let's do this. We can get enemy speed. We can get plus some extra flowers and other stuff. Let's minus that because I want to be able to run away from them. <laughs> 15% enemy amount per point. That seems good. Uh, enemy damage. I think we'll do like enemy amount per point. That gives us a little bit better stuff, but not a lot. Eh, it's something, I guess. I guess this is where you spend your flowers after you have everything. So let's go do the... Let's do library courtyard. We'll just kind of go back and forth between them. Demons must die. Let's go. So this is a sigil we need to attach it to a demon if we want. So it's not too bad. It seems like even if it even if it's attached to me, it still fires the ice shards. So let's see, we could do spell level two, lightning crawlers, energy cleave was really good. I think we like energy cleave. Let's do that one. This is just killing everything and it's not even attaching to stuff. <laughs> this is quite good, actually. This is level one. Wow. Tome Dust. I don't really like that one. I don't like the Tenedo at all. Uh, I played that one when I was showing, uh, uh, yeah, this to a friend and it was like, eh. I mean, it sounds fantastic, you know, a Tornado of Tennis Balls. It's like, that sounds unique compared to other games, you know? Whoever thinks of tennis balls. What about a Tornado of Tennis Rackets? That might be even more painful. Okay, Shrine Maiden, Fracture, Projectile Chain Amount, plus one. Nightshade Crit Chance. Kind of liking Crit Chance. I really like the Crit Builds. Those are fun. Because you really do a lot of damage. And I do feel like you need a lot of damage toward the end. It gets a little bit hairy. This one is doing pretty good though. Pretty good. Even if it's like not attaching. It's killing everything. It's like attached to me. That's really funny. Uh, Dynamo was actually pretty decent. But let's go with Dew Sigil. Just keep on going with this Dew Sigil. It's pretty nice. Okay, attaching it to a, a big big enemy is pretty good. An elite. So that was a good idea. Nice, nice. Box. Let's go. Energy Cleave or Dew Sigil. Let's go with the Cleave. Okay, level up. So a whole bunch of auras. Uh, crit chance seems good. You know what? Let's get experience because experience is going to help us gain levels faster. I wonder if the, the gluttony thing is supposed to be like the enemies don't go up in level. As in maybe they're matched to your level. Maybe that's the benefit of it. So like you basically gain... Uh, firepower over your enemies and they don't get stronger. Maybe that's the idea. I'm not really sure exactly how that works because like right now I'm I'm one of the only people who has this game. There's no like nothing to look it up for so uh, double tap fire to him uh, eh, eh. grumble grumble let's do this 
So we got the Turbo Shrine. That seems nice. Oh, nice. Wow, did you see how it hopped from enemy to enemy there? That was fantastic. Really good. Okay. Crit chance here. Um, energy cleave. This one goes for... Those, that's the negative armor one. Kind of... Yeah, let's take that. Might as well. Gotta remember that other crit chance uh, aura so that I can uh, make sure and level it up. Okay, lead sprinkler. Hmm, no. Still looking at this one, please. We did buy some like skips and stuff last time, so that will be good to have. In case we kind of get ourselves backed into a corner kind of thing. Okay, let's see. Nightshade again. Actually, I'll take Clairvoyance again, because I really like the XP gain. XP gain be nice. Really nice. See if we can attach it to this one. Perfect, perfect. Exactly what we wanted. There we go. Nice. Melt demons. Yes, this is what we want. Incinerate. That's the one. I keep confusing this with other ones, but we definitely want Incinerate. This is, like, massively cool. Look at this. All those flames. All right, we'll take this one. Okay, Nova Cleave. This is pretty cool. When an elite demon dies, all non-demons have a 25% chance to die instantly. I think that's good. Okay, very good, very good. I should keep track of the levels and see if we actually are missing any or not. We probably are not likely to miss any, but it's okay. We can we can have a go. Okay, so we're level 12. Ooh, intensity sounds good. Tailwind is also pretty good. I'll take the this one though, why not? There we go, the summoner, horde summoner. Very good. Smuggler's Shrine as well. Let's check um, what is our lowest level spell. It's Incinerate. We don't want to get rid of that one. We definitely want that one, so let's not choose one. This is a nice one. When elite demons are spawned, spawn one more. Um, uh, rotating acid spray, cheap shot, crit chance. Wow, plus 30%. Holy fuzzy cats, that's really good. I think we'll take this. 30% chance in one upgrade is amazing. We'll take that for sure. So now our crit chance is 49%, which is really good for level 13. <laughs> we're, we're doing well. We're doing well. Okay, incinerate. That's a good one. Evolve Dew Sigil. Demons inside the, the sigils are slowed and chain projectiles are fired from your position. That sounds pretty good. Let's take that. Okay. And quite a few can be inside the sigil at once, looks like it, that are getting slowed. That's kind of cool. I like the dew sigil. Some of the sigils are not so great, but this one is good. I like this one. I feel like the fire pillar one doesn't really do a lot, but that other one that we had in one of the other runs is actually really good. Okay, so winter sigil uh, base damage is up. 
Let's do the incinerate because we would rather have a shorter cooldown. Sounds good to me. Because this does high damage, the incinerate. It's very nice. Very nice. This is a very nice thing. Okay, it's around the summoner. That's perfect. Stay relatively close to the thing so we can hit it with our fiery spell. The fire spell doesn't have a huge range. I probably should get the upgrade that has higher range of spells. Okay, so we have projectile chain amount and damage. No, we don't want to do damage minus. Uh, this is good. Aura evolution. When you kill an elite demon, kill all non-elites. That's perfect. Because the other one has just a chance to kill the non-elites. But this is much, much better. Okay, let's go, folks. We're in a turbo shrine right now. Just need a few more kills and deaded. Boom. Okay, this weird it didn't give me a choice of two there. Uh, unless that was removed where... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Winter Sigil, Nova Cleave. Hmm. Spells damaging blood nearby. X projectiles also add repeat casts. Do we have extra projectiles? Plus one. Base damage is increased by your regen. Huh. That might be interesting. Let's try the Blood Blitz. I don't think I've tried that one. Does it stick on the ground? It doesn't seem to. But we should stack regen after this to improve the base damage. It, it, it is kind of a good, like, AoE around myself, seems like. Okay, let's see. Nightshade... Ooh, damage 25%. Let's take that. Even though we had crit chance, the damage 25% is a lot of damage. Because that, you know, that's the basis of the crit damage as well. So if we up that, it's going to be even better. Much better. There we go. Okay. Okay, incinerate again. Bloodlets. Let's do that one. More projectiles. Let's go. We could definitely use some healing here. Here, I think we'll stack a little bit of regen if we can get that aura. Try to get that going. Surprised it didn't hop more. It's not killing it as quickly, I think, is the problem. Okay, we have some more crit chance here. Cast speed. I think we go to... Yeah, take Clairvoyance again. That's a super, super nice uh, upgrade to get more experience. Just helps us level up faster. Well, there's a Horde Summoner over there. Okay. So, let's see. Here we have an aura. We get one Burning Ground. That's nice. Let's take that. That will help. Let's see. Hopefully we can get that sigil. There we go. Attach it to the uh, the elite. That's nice. And soon we will kill all the demons. There we go. And they're dead. And they leave all their XP behind. Hooray! So then we have... Let's see. Incinerate cooldown is uh, yeah, shorter. Let's see. Incinerate base damage. That's nice. Let's take that. But I think I want to get more damage on the the icicle thing. This aura that leaves the burning ground is just tiny amounts, really. It's not, not a big thing. I probably should have chosen something different. I feel a little bit bad about that. Let's see. Projectile pierce amount is better. We can take the... Let's just take the damage. 25%. I think that's better. Is it better? Actually, I didn't calculate. I should have calculated if it's better or not. Because it could have been better just to have the Winter Sigil. But the 25% applies to all spells, not just the Winter Sigil. So let's see. Involved in Incinerate re release a powerful explosion after each burst. I think that's worth it. So now we have blue, blue projectiles. Okay, there's the explosion. It's it's very close to me, which could be really good if there's a lot of enemies next to me. 
I try to stay away, but yeah. Let's see, Winter Sigil, let's take that one. Healing Shrine was good. Uh, let's take the Blood Blitz damage. See if we can kind of get get better at that. Um, Ardor. Let's see. Winter Sigil. Let's take this one. It sounds impressive. <laughs> it sounds impressive. I'm not sure what it does, but seems good. Sounds good. Now it's hopping a little bit better. That's good. Very good. I wonder if that's what counts as chaining, is the is the jumping around from enemy to enemy. Probably. What is that one? That's a cold front shrine. Okay. Almost done with this one. Smuggler shrine. I want that one better. So, let's take... That winter sigil is good stuff. Okay, smuggler. That one is, yeah, dying. Um, oh, that's pretty good. Uh, healing shrines are rerolled. Nope. The lowest one is the blood one. Hmm. Rain radioactive ice from above. 40% chance for a freeze two seconds. Eh. This one is rotating acid spray. Kill demons explode, dealing 20% of their max HP as damage. This stacking infinitely. I like that idea. Let's just do that. We'll stack, We'll do that instead of it. It's a level 3 spell here. Okay, that one disappeared. Yep, let's go. So Ardor, Winter Sigil. Yeah, let's take that again. More, more chaining. I'll take the chaining. Let's go. Okay. Uh, big damage. Let's take that. Okay, there's the acid thing. It kind of does a little bit of a sprinkler effect. Kind of like the clock lancet sort of motion in Vampire Survivors. But it doesn't look very powerful. And it certainly doesn't like shoot the correct direction when I want it to. Oi. That's not good. I kind of wish it would aim itself for the nearest uh, enemies, especially since it doesn't go very far. I think I want that upgrade that that increases a projectile um, length. Okay. Damage, projectile size. I think we'll take the crit chance. Nightshade. Oh, wow. I'm almost dead. Holy fuzzy cats, what happened to me? I knew I walked through some enemies, but I didn't think I I got that killed it. Eh? Question mark. Okay, there we go. Okay, thickening max HP armor plus one. Spell projectile amount, projectile speed and range. I definitely want to increase the range, not make it less. Let's take the acid breath, I think. Or max HP. Let's do that. Huh. That would be nice. Did it give me any? It gave me one HP. Er, that's probably just my regen, though. I haven't seen any health regen. But now we don't have that blood spell anymore, so we don't have to stack it for damage purposes. But I still think I would kind of like to get a little bit for regen purposes, because right now, otherwise, I just need a healing shrine really bad. I need it real bad. There it is. Okay. Was listening to me. Was listening. Okay. All right, Aura Evolution. Demons have five less max HP for each negative point of armor. I actually have minus two armor to a max of 75% less. I think we take this one. Yeah. There we go. That should help us heal a bit, I think. There's this giant here. 
I really could use that tailwind. A little bit of speed here. Starfire Shrine. That seems good. Okay. Base damage for the cleaver is up. Boy, we just also now deleted our <laughs> HP again. Why am I not getting any HP stuff? Come on, give me the Tailwind. At least that'll get us moving a little bit faster. Because uh, sometimes these demons are able to really chase me down. It's really scary. It is actually kind of scary. Okay, Healing Shrine. Let's take that. I feel like it kind of like knows. <laughs> well, of course it knows, but I feel like it kind of does um, gives you what you kind of need. That is a nice, nice thing. Very nice. Because when you need a healing shrine, it's nice to have one. The gods are listening to you. They hear your prayer. There we go. Revengeance. Explode. I didn't really like this one. I feel like it didn't do much. Quick chance. Let's do it. We really want to get up to 100% crit chance or more. You can have double crits in this game, at least. I'm gonna circle that demon. There we go. Astral flower, acid breath. Okay, very nice. I don't really like the acid breath, to be honest. Um, that seems good. Let's do the aura evolution though on the galaxy brain. That would be nice. Oh wow, how did I get that low? Holy fuzzy cats. Okay, so... Oh, this is new! Battle until you reach the final wave of enemies and all elites have been defeated. Dif difficulty and rewards are increased. Or periodically summon extra shrines. Periodically summon difficult demons. I think they might have re removed some of that, you know, the, the double box thing. Okay, projectile speed and range, 20%. Yes, I want that. It's been ages since I've seen that one. I don't think we've seen it at all in this run, in fact. Okay, let's go, let's go. Kill, kill everything. These are difficult. Jeez. Okay, healing should come. That would be great. Healing and chain shrine. Okay. Okay. Um, hmm. Intensity damage up. Demons, ha Demons have a 15% chance to explode on death, dealing 10% of their max HP as damage. Um, I think we can take this. Let's take this damage up, then we'll have a plus 100% damage. That's nice. Oh, okay. Dudes. Dudes. Finally. No, no flowers or anything there? That was a bit weird. Oh god, wow. Wow. Ugh. Got an astral flower from that, but we need... Wow, three healing shrines! Is the game trying to tell me something or what? <laughs> That's really funny. Experience shrine. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Just kill it, kill it, kill it. Level up. Okay. Lethality, critical multiplier, that seems good. Yes, we'll take that. Barrage shrine and a crit shrine. Take them all, let's go. Okay, ardor is up. Critical multiplier is up. Uh, pierce amount. That sounds good. I don't know if I have any piercing at all right now. Uh, would really like to kill those enemies. There we go. There we go. 
Wealthy and Regenerator. Wow, those don't sound great. Oh, this is so bad. Okay. Um, we might could take this one, I guess. Maybe. I'm just, I'm annoyed with the, like, the very low other thingy. Oh, we have a smuggler and a healing shrine. Okay, smuggler says what? Uh, all spell projectiles chain off two more demons. No, too, too much damage off there. Rotating shield that strikes with lightning on kill. This seems good. Spell projectile amount two. Mm, no. Throne of Dark does create a teleporting area that strikes demons with dark lightning. Demons killed shatter on death. I don't know. I kind of am not feeling this one at all. So I'd rather... Let's try this shield storm. I don't think I've ever tried that one before. Oh, this seems cool. This seems really great, actually. Let's kill some enemies if we can. I don't know if we can kill that many. Did I die? I died. No, a victory! I must have won! <laughs> I guess I won. Okay. Yay. All right. Okay. We survived seconds plus 1044. Level 38. Total score 39,000. So we won. Cool. That was weird, but sure. We won. <laughs> okay. Okay. Why not? Um, let's see. Let's see. Dark Moon... I think we really liked... Oh, geez. I need to figure out what intensity is. I forgot. I think this is one that we actually want. Oh, we don't have enough money. Uh, Nightshade. That's one of the crit ones. So we can do that one. And I think we're going to just... Hold on to the rest of the flowers, maybe. Or get damage. Let's get more damage. That's good. Back. Uh, all right. So I think we probably want to start another run... In the next uh, episode, we are at 27 minutes and 14 seconds. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.